What's going on gang? Bolt Matrix here and today we are taking a look at Transformers Combiner Wars Deluxe Class Breakneck, otherwise known as Wild Rider. I don't know why they went with the name Breakneck, but oh well. Got him off of uh, Amazon.com actually, so picked him up there and the box is pretty much the same as all the other Combiner Wars and we now finally have the last member of the Stun Cons. So let's open him up and take a look. Right out of the packaging, Breakneck is a fantastic looking figure. The colors work so well together. Black, the dark red, and the gray all make a very attractive looking figure. Now the figure is a carbon copy of Dead End, who also is the same mold as Streetwise. That's perfectly fine. I'm all right with that because if you remember in the original G1 series or G1 toys, they were very, very similar figures. The only real difference other than the paint scheme is the head sculpts. They do have different heads. Their accessories, however, are exactly the same. They have the exact same accessories. The combiner parts are the exactly the same, and this pipe weapon is exactly the same. There are no differences there. The one thing that I do really like about this guy, paint-wise and sculpting-wise, is the use of the see-through purple on his chest. That works really well. Standing next to each other, you can see the breakdown and dead end are the same mold. Obviously, different head sculpts, as I said. And as you can see here, the painting here on the chest, or the different use of plastic here, is much nicer than the use of the plastic here on dead end. It works really well. Wild Rider, oh, Wild Rider, geez. Breakneck's head sculpt is also a little bit more muted and a little bit simpler than that of Wild Rider, or dead end. You can also see the difference in the head sculpts. I like Dead End's head sculpt better than Breakneck's, but that's just a personal taste. If you've seen my video review of Dead End or Streetwise, you know how he transforms, but we'll just run through it here really quickly. Straighten out the arms and fold the fists up into the inner forearms. Reach around the back of the figure and fold up the front of the car mode while simultaneously turning the hips 180 degrees. Fold the arms down into the body, open up the chest and flip that up over the robot head, collapse the car, the front of the car mode down over the robot head, and just get everything lined up and snapped into place. Then fold down the front of the windscreen, come along to the rear of the vehicle mode and open up the front shins, combine the legs together, and then flip the legs up into the vehicle mode and fold down those shin components to the back to form the back of the vehicle mode. And here we end up with this very nice little sports car. So far, three ve so far this is the third figure to have this alt mode, and I still love the alt mode. I still think it is a phenomenal alt mode. It is really, really cool looking, and the color scheme on this figure is just perfect for this alt mode. There's nothing more I can say about it. It's really, really nice. Now, based on the original G1 Menasaur, we have to have this guy as a leg. That's just something that I like to have. So to do that, we first reach in and flip up the windscreen, then grab the front of the vehicle mode and flip it straight back. Take the head, which has become unhinged, and flip it up over and fold this section down. And then just plug this guy into the combiner port. And lastly, flip out the combiner peg. And that's it. Let's get them combined up. And here's what I like to call the correct Menasaur. This isn't really the official way to combine it. You're supposed to open up the chest and put Blackout or Blackjack in there. I don't like doing that. I prefer to keep it this way because I think this way works better. And I like to have the legs turned out so that the bottom of the cars are facing forward as opposed to the front of the cars facing forward. That's just a personal preference and that's more of a G1 style than what we were getting from Hasbro. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video review of Breakneck. I think he is the final part of the correct Menasaur. That's not to say off-road was bad, I just would prefer a more G1 look. So gang, I am Bolt Matrix. I ask you to like, comment, and subscribe, and please be sure to stick around for my next video review.